Femoral acetabular impingement refers to pain at the front of the hip joint and it's usually due to some bony overgrowth either from the femur, on the neck of the femur or at the front of the acetabulum. These are known as can and pincer deformities. The pain will usually be at the front of the hip and it will be brought on usually by hip flexion. So patients will descri describe pain after long periods of sitting, particularly if it's a lower chair or if they bring in their hip up towards their chest. So oftentimes painful when cycling. Um, and patients will also describe pain on running and repeated impact activities of this nature. Patients will describe a pain at the front of the hip um, and oftentimes um, well, the pain can be radiating towards the groin but it can also radiate towards the outside of the hip and patients can even experience uh, buttock pain. Clinical assessment will um, be really helpful in identifying the um, impingement pattern and patients typically do not like um, having the hip flexed uh, beyond 100, 110 degrees will oftentimes give them quite sharp pain at the front of the hip. So that can be um, really quite um, useful in terms of overall diagnosis. Patients with femoral acetabular impingement, we will typically see uh, patients who've um, usually um, sort of young, younger, middle-aged uh, patients who have started to develop pain at the front of the hip. Um, quite often times they will have had uh, physiotherapy input, they may have even been for x-rays uh, to obtain the diagnosis and it can be really responsive to traditional physiotherapy exercises, um, muscle um, strengthening and some um, gait re-education and modification of activities. However, um, if the symptoms persist and it's really um, uh, preventing the patient from performing activities and functions then an ultrasound guided injection can be really useful.